Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Juan for the Six Boy. Welcome to Let's Play Immortals Phoenix Rising Part Twelve. Now, in the last episode, we just met up with Aphrodite, and she has sent us to get a pearl that will um, recreate the events of our birth. I don't know. We're we're gonna end up dealing with two Aphrodites. Um, honestly, sounds sounds like it. Oh, my horse! Oh. Oh, okay, he's fine, and I'm fine. Mm. Honestly, ooh, look at the pomegranates. But anyways, yeah, so we're here to see the find her pearl. And let's see, what else? Oh yeah, that's right, just to recreate her birth, and um, yeah, it's gonna be, we're gonna have a good old time with that. That we can get some seas. Some mystical sea foam salt. And. And stuff. Oh, I I know how to fight away with the other Titans, huh? Yes, he was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy for... Grandpa made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, yeah. yeah. You know what, Zeus? I'm gonna lay you on with that one. That joke was pretty funny. Okay. Alright, now, let's see. Ooh! We got a self The pearl. birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <laughs> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs> mm -hmm. I mean, anyone out there who actually knows the Greek mythology, let me know that's true, because honestly, I doubt it that Zeus is making that up. I mean, doubt that uh, Zeus is um, saying that's true. Because we all, at least most of us, do know that um, the birth of Aphrodite uh, was actually caused by either, well, it, it should have been Kronos's. Um, no, was it Kronos's or Kronos's father? I forgot, honestly. Oh, my pearl's getting away. I have to use my steed. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. Just ignore the giant pearl that's around you guys. Okay. 
It's in water. Was it foam? How did these guys not notice me? I'm right in front of them. Oh, dang. into the water, then uh, all Kronos' guts into, I mean, not Kronos, is uh, Orogo, Oronos, something like that, all of his guts in there, again, like, into the water, thus Aphrodite was born. And I think she was actually the first Olympian born. Hmm. I know, I know Zeus is probably, like, one of the youngest of the Olympians, actually. Hmm. Okay. I have to move all that out of the way. Stop that! I, uh, that's not what I wanted either. Fudge me. And. Uh, okay. Oh, come on! Let's. How far is it? How? Alright, there we go. 
Ooh, it's so close to the scene now. Nah, we got plenty of pomegranates. We don't need any more. There we go. Oh, we have to hit all three of those. Okay. And one more. And we're golden. Alright. Go, Aphrodite's Pearl. Go become, recreate her birth and um, do things, magical things, I don't know. And, ooh. Good boy with that. Relax, Phoenix, you got magical things. All right, um, he, wait, why do I see a skeleton structure? From the sea fall, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. The crones, we fought. You can't be serious. I fell into the sea. That's... It's because Kronos cut off his... <laughs> uh, you're sick, Prometheus. Do not talk to me. <laughs> In the sea foam secure. Ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and oh. the vault. Alright, let's um Okay, uh ooh. okay, we're stuck in a little bit of a victory, but yeah we got now we got um now we got Aphrodite's sea foam and a long well mythic sea foam and now the truth has been revealed of how Aphrodite was born. Though it seems like there's some details I did not know about. And uh for for those who are wondering what he's talking about and everything like that, and you are kiddos, nothing. You don't even know. It was his guts. It was his intestines, all right? Now, let's see. Let's try to go look for Aphrodite. Let's see. Is there any quick way? Can I fast travel? Yeah. No, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Yes, please. Coins of Charon. Acquiring new abilities, gathering coins of Charon. Learn by completing myth, myth, myth challenges. Turn in them at the river. The sinks center in the hall. Good luck, gods. All right. And Aphrodite is straight ahead. By the way, guys. Also, off screen, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more other challenges. Well, not challenges, but um, I'm gonna be gathering up. I'm gonna be doing some off-screen stuff like visiting vaults, um, gathering Ambrosia that way I can increase my health, my stamina, everything. And by the way, this really feels like a Breath of the Wild game. Uh, you capture your own creatures to, to make to make into your steed. You battle giant monsters. You increase your stamina gauge, your health gauge, and everything by collecting these things. Also, your weaponry and gear as well. So yeah, this game is like heavily inspired by Breath of the Wild. And Aphrodite, we're here. What's up, Big A? Damn, you sweet creature. Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you? Good. Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Oh, we'll do it again. Aphrodite's embrace. You know, this is very much like calling. Pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. 
Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering white noses. Hey, what's going on? Oh, hello, Typhon? Alright. Oh, hello. Alright. Give him a speech to Big Boss. Ah, okay. Ha. Ha. Oh, jeez. Okay. He's a warrior. Ah, oh, jeez. This guy knows how to do his stuff. For sure. Alright. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Oh, jeez. This guy's tough. He's really tough. All right, let's do this now, buddy. Try again, but dodge him. Huh. Okay, I think dodging is gonna be the best approach. Responsibility as raids tend to do to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're oh, telling me. I have, so he's I have a sword too. To lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three raids, though. Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that. <laughs> of crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... No. 
No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Oh, come on. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... Okay, so she's going to remain a tree? I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Oh boy, now, how many did Typhon me? hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus. Oh my god. Three crystallized tears. I think I found some already. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm wearing. It's one of the coolest armors you, you can see in this game. Yeah. All right, so we gotta go around, look for some flipping vaults in order to. Uh, too many quests are open, man. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost. Okay, so it seems like we got some new missions. A lot of them involving this and that. Getting Aphrodite's tears and everything like that. Luckily, I found one. That was actually one of the vaults I visited. Now we gotta go visit other ones. <sighs> My goodness. Alright, guys. And I'm pretty sure, yep, this is the end of the episode right here, guys. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, we're gonna be go going off looking for. Normally, I, you know, you normally I would um, cut off an episode and normally I go into vaults for off episodes and everything like that. But for this one, for you guys and everything, everyone out there, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go into those vaults on camera. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, share the video. Also comment down below on what you guys think of the video. And also, if you like my content, please hit that red subscribe button and hit that lovely bell for all notifications. I am SimbaoFedo64. This has been another episode of Mortal Phoenix Racing. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out and God bless.